Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to share with you a quick tip about filtering. So in this data set, I've got um, a set of financial statements, right? And normally you're going to have this, uh, some, some formatting that you've applied, you know, some natural breaks between income and expenses and maybe other income and your net income line. Now, the problem is if you want to actually filter this data and use the filter button, the problem is Excel is going to automatically try to detect where your da data set ends. In this case, it's here. So I can only filter these few items in here. So not terribly useful. And the problem is because there's gaps in this data set. And I don't necessarily want to clump in revenues. It doesn't look terribly nice. It doesn't have that break, right? If I did that, then now my filter is a lot more useful. But you know what? I still can't pick up this other income. Because again, there's a gap. So in the case that you don't want to sacrifice the design of your template, but you still want to be able to use filtering, the one easy thing that you can do is just enter any value in here. As long as it's not a blank, it'll work. So if I just enter a space and hit enter, now if I click on the filter button, you know, whoops, now it's gonna pick up revenues and all these expense items. Because now if I hit control down, it's going to detect that's the end of my data set. Now, if I put another blank here, I'll be able to pick up other income. So I click on this. There's other income now. You'll notice I still cannot pick up net income. So net income still does not show up because, again, if I select here, control down, it's not showing up. So, again, I'll hit in a, another, another space bar entry here. And I'll do the same down here as well just to pick up everything. And now, once I've done that, net income shows up. Same with the basic net income and the diluted net income. So now, you know, I could filter this to just show net income quickly and easily. Another thing you may want to do, um, and this is just really a preference, you could use the blank value. You can also enter in a value of, let's say, blank, right? And this might be easy just for your reference to know that these are blank values. Now, obviously, this doesn't help in the scheme of, of how it looks. But one way around this is you select these blank values, hit Control-1 to get into format cells. Under the custom option, just enter three semicolons. And now will get rid of any formatting regardless of what color your background is. And now if I go back to filter, I still am able to pick up net income, all these line items at the very bottom without you know, someone knowing that I've entered in a value here. You can see it's typed in here. And uh, with that custom formatting, I can remove the appearance of it from, from the file. So you can either enter in any sort of text if you want, if you just want to say that it's a placeholder, or you can just enter an empty space for the sake of putting something in there to tell Excel that your data set is, is connected. And this is where it starts and ends. Because now when I hit control down, it goes right where it should end. So that's how you can get around um, gaps in your, in your data set without necessarily compromising the look of it and allowing your filters to work.